What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and I'm back with some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons. But this time, instead of PvP, I'm actually going to do an instance. Now, I'll teach some of the words that, again, that I didn't quite properly teach last time, but I'm also going to start teaching you some new words related to the classes within the game. Now, for those who don't play these types of games, a class is just basically where you fit within the overall system of the game. Okay, a player has left your group. Yes, we'll find another one already, I guess. Someone's already left the team. Wow, Jesus. Okay, so first up, a little bit of revision. So what was the way to say, um, I want to heal you? Mi volas sanigi vin. Mi volas sanigi vin. Now, I was going to teach you how to say healer in the last episode, and then I got sheeped by someone, and things just got chaotic from there. So... I'm going to actually teach you how to say that right now. So you already know how to say to heal, okay? And to heal is Sanigi, as I've already previously taught. So what would a healer then be, based on what you guys already know about Esperanto? It would be Sanigisto. Sanigisto. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do with classes is, if it doesn't have a native word within Esperanto, I'm going to build it from a verb, and then I'm going to use isto, because a class is kind of something persistent. It is what you are within the game, so therefore, it would be isto rather than anto. Okay? So, first up, we already know what class I am. I'm a priest, and that has an actual native word. So, the word for a priest, as we already know from the last video, is pastoro. Pastoro. Now, Let's have a look at the tank in this game. So my tank is a warrior, okay? So first up, I'm going to teach you the way to say tank, as in the class. Now, there's, there's basically three groups you can be. You can either be a healer, a tank, or a DPS, which is someone who causes damage. So the way I'd say tank, first I'd use the word for tank, which is tanko, tanko. And then I would apply isto to the end of it. So it'd be tankisto, because that's what you do within the game. That is your your primary role, okay? Now, you may, if you've watched my, um, oh god, someone's attacking me. They want to kill me already. If you watched my videos where I play Left 4 Dead, you'll notice that I call the tank in that a tankulo. And the reason being is because that's not his profession, that's what he is, okay? Or, so, that's why I'm using a different way of saying tank within this game. Okay, so just remember that. Tankisto is the tank. And then you have Sanigisto is the healer. So next up, we're going to learn now how to say DPS. So the way to say to damage in Esperanto, in Esperanto bleh, is damaji, damaji, okay? So obviously then you would say damagisto again. So it's basically isto on the end of a bunch of different verbs. So what was the word for a healer? It was sanigisto, sanigisto. Ooh, I just leveled. And what was the word for a tank? It was tankisto. Tankisto. What about DPS? It was damagisto. Damagisto. Oh god, someone has caused a lot of chaos. Okay, let's just quickly heal everyone up, make sure everything's going good, because our tank isn't currently tanking. I think our DPS is. Okay, so first up. The tank is a warrior in this game, okay? Now, the, a warrior, the best way to translate a warrior would be someone who does battle, okay? So the verb to battle in Esperanto is batali, batali. So I'm just going to pick up all this money. Do you guys remember the word for money? It was mono, mono. And what was the word for a warrior? Well, it would be batalisto, batalisto. Okay, cool. Now, the other person we have in the group is a rogue. Now, a rogue, first you should understand what the class does, um, if you haven't played World of Warcraft. A rogue is someone who sits invisible most of the time and then pops out and basically just stabs you in the back. Okay, so he's probably he's probably the most dodgy class that there is. He's he's not up for a um, you know, a fair fight. He's he's a brutal guy. Now, the rogue uses lots of tricks and like, um, like, he's very cunning in how he takes out his opponents. He throws sand in eyes, he hides invisible, he will um, basically stab you in certain points so you can't move for a certain period of time. So, the best way to translate that is 
I, when I think of a rogue, I think of a thief, because a thief is a very cunning type of person. And it's also the word that's been commonly used for rogue in Esperanto up until this point. So for that, I would say, I would use the verb to steal. And to steal is stelli, stelli, okay? So again, based on what you know, how would you say rogue? It would be stelisto. But just remember, stelisto technically means thief. But it's what we're going to use for rogue in this game. Remember, in, in English, we have a tendency to use words that don't actually mean what the person does. But in Esperanto, we try to keep it as logical as possible. As possible. Oh, this guy's going to cause chaos. He's making all these insects very unhappy with him. Now they're very unhappy with me because I just helped him. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Don't you do that. Okay, mi deva sanigilin. What did I just say? I need to heal him. And now I need to heal myself. So how would I say I need to heal myself? Mi deva sanigi min. And I need to heal us. Mi deva sanigi min. Oh, come on. My tank, mi tankisto, that's how you'd say my tank, is friggin' terrible. He's standing over there <laughs> while I've got all these insects trying to kill me. Jesus. Great tank. Okay. Now, we've learnt Rogue, we've learnt Tank. Where is he? Where's he gone? What are you guys doing? Oh my god, my team is terror bad. Okay, so we've learnt Rogue. Now, what was the word for Rogue? It was... Stelisto. Stelisto. And what was the word for Tank? It was... Tankisto. And what about war What about Warrior? Batalisto. Batalisto. Okay, so who else do we have in the group? We've got um, a second warrior, we've got a rogue, and we have a shaman. So I guess we'll learn the word for shaman now, okay? So the word for shaman, whoop, just going to make sure everyone's nice and healed, is shamano, shamano. And that's a native word, so you don't need to use isto with it. So shamano is the actual word for shaman, okay? Cool. So, how would you say... Um, the shaman uh, wants to kill the uh, the mob. Okay. La shamano volas moritigi la estajon. Or in this case, you could say estulon because that one's humanoid. Okay. Let's have a look. Now, there's obviously a whole heap of the other classes that exist in this game, which aren't actually in this like map that I'm playing in. So I'm just going to go for each one of them. The next one you have is a hunter, and a hunter usually uses like bows and arrows and has a pet to take out enemies, okay? Um, and his pet's usually quite violent. Now, the best way to say hunter is to actually use the, the proper construction in Esperanto. So, the word to chase in Esperanto is chassi, chassi, okay? So, therefore, a hunter would be chassisto, chassisto. And what was the word for shaman? It was shamano, shamano. Okay, cool. And what was the word for rogue? That guy right there. It was stelisto. And what about warrior? Batalisto. Okay, cool. Now we're going to learn the word for mage. Now a mage is someone who uses magic to do damage. Okay, and the way I would say that is I'd use the actual word for magic. And the word for magic is Magio, Magio. And obviously a mage is someone who uses magic, so it would be a Magisto. Now you notice there's two eyes there. When you encounter two eyes in Esperanto, you actually have to pronounce both. So it's Magisto. You notice it's E-E. -E. You've got to hit both of those eyes, okay? The next one you have is a Paladin. And a Paladin is traditionally someone who is like a knight, but fights for like a religious cause type of thing. Um, so the, I would use the word for an actual knight, okay? And the word for knight in Esperanto is cavalido, cavalido, okay? So um, that one will be, uh, you can think of cavalry to try and remember it. That's how I remembered it when I first learned the word. So just think of cavalry and you'll, you'll get at least 50% of the way there and get the word right. So cavalido. Cavalero. And what is the tank? He is a batalisto. And how do you say tank? Tankisto. 
Okay, cool. And what about Paladin? Cavalido. And just remember that that there means knight. So, and that's knight with the K, by the way, guys. Not like knight is night time. Okay, so we've got a massive group of mobs down here. Oh, God. And he's just gone straight in to attack them all. Okay. Oh, no. Please, 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 please. Not that quick. Not that quick. Not that quick. Oh my god, I need Deva Savi Lim. And I'm gonna teach you that verb now. And the verb for to save is Savi. Savi. Oh no, not him as well, not him. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop one of these down there, those bad boys. Oh shiver me timbers. Okay. Oh, I've just been turned into a frog this time. Not a sheep, but a frog. So let's learn the word for frog. And the word for frog is Arano. Arano. And you remember how I said to polymorph or to turn into a sheep? Now that's only really a word that you're going to use in this game. Um, you're never going to speak, go to another Espinos during a congress and sheep him type of thing, turn him into a sheep. Shafigi Lin. Um, oh god, I just gave it away to you. So yeah, it's shafi, uh, Shafigi, to turn someone into a sheep. So how would you turn someone into a frog then? It would be Aranigi. Aranigi. Now, I've been saying Shafigi and Aranigi, but you could also say En Shafigi. You notice I just used En, which means in. That can also be used to say into when you attach it to the beginning of a verb. So um, En Shafigi could mean to turn into a sheep, or you could say Shafigi, because you're not going to get that mixed up with anything else. So I'm just going to stick with saying Shafigi and Aranigi. Um, but it's up to you guys. You can go whatever way makes you feel most happy. Okay, so someone needs to kill that dude there. Oh god. Oh god. Can the tank tank? Thank you. So, the tank... What was the word for tank again? It was... Tankisto. Tankisto. Oh great, now everything's on me again. Why does everything come after me? And you see these guys here, they're all casting these spells. Those purple type spells, they come from warlocks in this game. So not mages, warlocks. And do you remember how to say mage? It was... Magiisto. So we're going to learn how to say Warlock now. Now in Esperanto there's uh, the general accepted way of saying Warlock because you've got to remember between languages there's never a one-to-one -one translation. Is to use the word for Sorcerer, okay? And the word for Sorcerer, or well I guess I should start with how you build it. So to say um, to be witch, okay, is Sorichi, Sorichi. So therefore, a sorichisto is someone who bewitches or basically acts like a warlock, okay? So you have sorichisto. And do you remember how to say mage? It was magiisto. Magiisto. Let's see what else i got in here. Uh, don't want any of that stuff. I actually don't need anything from this um, particular instance. I just wanted to come in and kill stuff. Okay, so we're coming close to the end of our lesson now. So first up, Let's just do a little bit of review of what we've learned so far. How would you say hunter? Do I want to get off my mouth? No, I don't. It is chasisto. Chasisto. And how do you say um, shaman? Oh, have I actually taught you that yet? No, I haven't. So I'm going to teach you that. So the word for shaman is shamano. Oh, wait. No, I have taught you that. So what's the word for shaman? <laughs> it is shamano. Shamano. If you didn't get that, then you're just not listening. That's clearly just the problem there. Okay, so these guys have decided to attack these snakes. So, what is the word for rogue? It is stelisto, or that could also mean thief. And what is the word for um, uh, DPS, or someone who does damage? Damagisto, damagisto. And how do you say a paladin? Cavalido. Cavalido. And what about... Let's think. Our priest. Pastoro. Pastoro. Okay, guys. So I've reached the end of this particular lesson. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more World of Warcraft videos, let me know in the comments below. Give it a like. Share it around with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, guess what? I won't be healing you. <laughs>